In today's reading, we read from John 15 verses 18 to 21. It reads, If the world hates you, keep in mind that it hated me first. If you belong to the world, it would love you as its own. As it is, you do not belong to the world. But I have chosen you out of the world. That is why the world hates you. Remember what I told you. A servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you also. If they obeyed my teaching, they will obey yours also. They will treat you this way because of my name, for they do not know the one who sent me. Welcome to Pathways of Hope. My name is Ken Sitaka, and I will be sharing with you my reflections on the Gospel of today, taken from John chapter 15, verses 18 to 21. In our reading for today, Jesus warns us that one, the world will hate you for the way we love, the way we live, and for the loving way the Father and Jesus loves. Yes, for the good things that we do as Christians. Number two, when we experience this hate, remember that the world hated him first. They put him on a cross, remember? And tortured him before that. And lastly, number three, we can expect this hate to come because we are his followers. So much for the good of humanity, right? Man's heart has not really changed. Have you ever experienced hate? Let's hear some examples. Have you experienced hate because you were just giving honest feedback to a family member, a colleague, or a friend? Or because you did not tolerate someone's behavior like allowing them to cut the line in traffic? so they can get ahead of you and everyone else? Or they hated you because you posted something truthful and it exposed the lies? Or you were perceived to be too generous, too forgiving, or too nice? Or you received hate for no apparent reason at all? Duh! I was a salesperson in my young career and I handled many supermarkets in the Central Luzon area. One day, as I entered a supermarket in San Fernando, Pampanga, the owner was shouting at the top of his lungs and was speaking in the local dialect. He was angry. Although I did not understand right away what he was saying, I had a feeling that it was directed at me as all of a sudden, all eyes were on me. The staff and the shoppers. He was seething with anger and was shouting non-stop and directed his eyes on me. He was perched on top of a platform in front of the checkout counters and right beside him stood his tall, dark, stocky, heavyweight brother who also had his eagle eyes on me. It was very tense. So I approached him with a lot of caution and walked slowly up to him and whispered in his ear, What seems to be your problem? He stopped. He was kind of shocked as I was waiting calmly for his answer. It was still tense as everyone was waiting in a bated breath of what was going to happen next. And when he whispered back, the tension was gone, and everyone went about his own business. How do you respond to hate? It's so easy to respond in hate and reciprocate, right? In Matthew 5, verse 38, in fact, Jesus talks about it. You have heard it said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist the one who is evil. And Jesus gives examples of how to handle the situations. But he proceeds further. And he says, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But 
I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you so that you may be sons of your Father who is in heaven. Wow. And then he ends. You therefore must be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. It is hard. But the, ch the Lord challenges us to try it ourselves and see for ourselves and experience it ourselves. Yes, some may abuse our generosity, our goodness, our kindness. But let God repay them for the hate and evil they have done or about to do. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. So chill. The Lord has our backs. We can then choose to respond in three ways. First, we can choose to retaliate. But then again, is that the loving way to go? Number two, we can ignore. We can just pretend that we didn't see or hear it or just decide not to give it the attention that the other person is trying to seek. Or three, we can respond in love in gentleness, in kindness, or giving the person the attention that he or she deserves. You know what happened to that guy? We ended up as friends. I discovered him to be a nerdy, intelligent, humble guy who just wanted to be listened to. He was, after all, a simple guy, and we became friends. I also became friends with his siblings, by the way. That big guy? Yes. And his sister and another brother who also owned supermarkets within the same town. Therefore, our challenge is to love anyway. In spite of the hate, love. Give. Be generous. Be kind. Be gracious. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. So love one another as I have loved you. These are Jesus' words, not mine. If these reflections have helped you today, please like and share with your family, your friends, and your loved ones. This is Ken Sitaka, and this is Pathways of Hope. I hope and pray that you have a wonderful day ahead of you. Till the next time. God bless you.